Hello, welcome, uh, Rimi. And uh, we know that uh, you are uh, helping the visitors mainly, right? Renting uh, apartments. And uh, when did you start uh, your startup and uh, how, how has it been going so far? Okay. Uh, well, it's first of all, our domain name is hemenkiralık.com, but we have, uh, uh, well, we have two other interfaces as well, flat4day.com, which is the English interface, and domiknaden.ru, which is the Russian interface. So altogether, we have two interfaces. And as you said, it's about uh, short-term rentals. Uh, it's like an online marketplace for short-term rentals in Turkey and neighboring countries. Uh, it started about 10 months ago. We launched the we website uh, around uh, December of 2011. So it's been about like 10, 11 months. And so we have uh, around like 4,500 listings from all over Turkey. Once uh, somebody books an apartment through our website, our call center, you know, gives them a call right away. So we try to accelerate the process. Nobody has to wait, you know, for more than a couple hours when they try to book an apartment in Turkey. That to solve my problem. <laughs> and, uh, uh, another one, uh, when I go to a city for the first time, mm -hmm. I have really hard times to understand whether this apartment mm -hmm. is close to the, for example, the conference center or mm -hmm. to the to the place that or mm -hmm. uh, to the office that I want to visit. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, it's it's the same thing. For example, I have visitors from different countries and they are asking me. Like, uh, or which area we should say. Do, do you also, like, uh, give uh, maybe advising well, on... Uh, yeah, what, what we do is, like, first of all, uh, you get, like, a clear idea about the location of the apartment because we have a map for every single listing that shows the where, where the apartment is located. But, yes, you might not be familiar with the area, so what we do is we try to give them, like, again, through our uh, call center, we try to tell them, like, we try to give them ideas about where each listing is located, you know, if there's any conference centers or if there's any museums or like, you know, uh, anything that might be interest uh, to them, you know, like they, we tell them uh, through our call center, but also through our, uh, in, in the description of our listing, you can find all this information in a detailed way. That's what we try to collect from uh, the homeowners. Mm -hmm. That's what like, you know, uh, in Airbnb, all this uh, system is autom aut automatic. Mm -hmm. They can like activate every single listing, you know, and they don't look for these, uh, you know, certain uh, features. But what we do is like, if they don't like, you know, write about these features, we call the homeowners and we, you know, let them know that the more information they give to the, you know, potential customer, mm -hmm. the, the better chance they have that the, they're gonna get a booking from us. Uh, you uh, had the first round from uh, the 12 uh, Venture yeah. Capital. And uh, uh, how, how are your plans in terms of uh, investment and? Uh, so uh, we received our first investment from 212 in mid-March. And later on, uh, we received our second round. Uh, we closed the our second round in mid-August, so which was a like one, two months ago. And in the second round, it was also 212 participated, but uh, we also had uh, Fahri Diner from Sigma Partners from Silicon Valley investing individually. And we had uh, Teruhide Sato from uh, Japan. Okay. He's the uh, CEO of netprice.com. He also invested individually. So that was our second round, and we are planning to, you know, close the third round maybe in uh, March to April of 2013. That's what our plan And uh, so you want to become a global company? So can we, yeah, can we say mean, that? Our, our primary focus is the Turkish market. We try to dominate the uh, domestic market in Turkey because uh, each year there is like 27 million foreign tourists arriving in Turkey. And there, there are 26 million uh, Turkish locals who need accommodation in Turkey. That gives us a 53 million people. That's like a huge amount. If you uh, consider the market size, it adds up to about $12 billion only for Turkey. Turkey is like the top s one of the top uh, 10 countries in the world in terms of tourism. Uh, Istanbul and An Antalya receive the most number of tourists. They are again in the top 10 cities in the world. So right now we want to focus on the Turkish market we want to dominate this market, you know, and uh, after that, we are going to try to appeal to the foreigners to come to Turkey. And once we achieve those goals, we are going to, you know, try to become a power in the region. I'm not necessarily saying that. In the region, uh, you mean MENA or? Yes, in, in MENA, uh, especially Middle East, because Middle East is very important for us. Uh, out of those 27 million foreign tourists arriving in Turkey, uh, three to four million of those comes from Middle East. So, you know, the Middle East plays a really crucial role in terms of our uh, target. Uh, any target today for, for maybe who do you exit? Uh, no, uh, 
I mean, right now, I'm not really uh, considering about exits because uh, even now, like some like global competitors are reaching us and like you know they're offering us like certain deals. But I think we have like a wa uh, huge way for growth. You know, I think we have a big opportunity here because, uh, as I said, we are like a local company that uh, we want to excel in the customer service that we present, and we believe that that can take us to a you know to high places. That's why, like, right now I'm not, or, or any of my partners, we're not considering about an exit, but we're just trying to take this to the next level. Okay, uh, good luck to your <laughs> work. Take care.